Ariarathes I was the last Achaemenid satrap of northern Cappadocia, serving from the 340s BC to 331 BC. He led defensive efforts against Alexander's invasion, but was ultimately defeated at the Battle of Gagamela while serving under Darius III. After the fall of the Persian Empire, he would continue to resist the Macedonians until he was eventually captured and executed in 322 BC. His territory was then contested between several of Alexander's successors and former generals. Eventually, one of Ariarathes' dynastic successors would regain control of Cappadocia in 301 BC and would then unrule the kingdom until 96 BC when they were deposed by the Romans. Today, we will be doing the same and try to bring the descendants of Ariarathes to rule in Cappadocia while also pushing back the Hellenic invaders and avenging the Achaemenid Empire. I just want to quickly say thanks for supporting me and for all the good comments and feedback I've been getting over the past couple of months. You guys have really helped me stay motivated. Anyways, join the Discord. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Impaired Rome. I don't want to say I'm officially back, but I guess I'm here just recording a video because I realized the project that I'm currently working on in the method that I'm working on it it's going to take a lot longer to actually come out with so i felt like i wanted to just record something something like quick in a normal you know in the normal style that i make my videos so i can get it out and you know work on this while i work on um you know the project anyways we're playing a paradigm because well um there's a lot of reasons, actually. Um, unfortunately, I cannot play the Israel campaign that I had because it was on an older save of Imperator Invictus, and when I tried to uh, use the older save, it didn't work because I already tried to load it on the new save, so it just broke the save. So I can't, I can't play it anymore. And that's unfortunate, but uh, you know, I really did want to make a part two, but I, I actually just cannot so that's just gonna have to be forgotten in the ether unfortunately i'm really sorry about that but this is just nothing i can do anyways we are uh we're gonna play Cappadocia. you already know that you've already seen the fucking title oh and also i should explain why this isn't a ck3 video because you know you'd probably expected one it's really just that epe and ce just hasn't been uh updated yet uh the two mods you know the two essential mods of ck3 uh, they just haven't been updated yet so i I'm playing Imperator instead. Because I literally cannot play CK3 without EP because I hate the the paradox, what paradox has done to the ethnicities on, like, the vanilla ethnicities. They just look so bad compared to EPE. The reason why we're playing Cappadocia, I, should, I guess I should explain. The reason why we're playing Cappadocia is because Cappadocia actually has a very good tree, like, a very good mission tree. Uh, we have this whole, yeah, we, we know what's going on here. We have Lucky Nations here as well. I probably should have told you um, about this, but I think I told you about this in the mod, or er, in the intro. We'll have, like, ten Lucky Nations, sure. There's a lot going on with Cappadocia here. Chaos in Cappadocia. Though for many years, Cappadocia had been under Persian control, the region has been firmly in the Hellenic hands following the... Uh, uh, the region has been firmly in the Hellenic hands following Alexander the Great's conquests. Under the rule of the satrap Eumenes of Cardia, the province would fight for control and greater glory during the wars of the Diadochi. Eumenes deftly commanded many Macedonian soldiers, including the famed Silver Shields, despite not being of their culture. It was through hard work, determination, and intelligent command that he won their respect. This newfound power of Eumenes would be cut short, however. At the Battle of Gabienae, Eumenes had ultimately won the battle, but lost control of his army. He would be betrayed by the Silver Shields, whose families were held hostage by Antigonus I Monophthalmos. In the end, Eumenes would be imprisoned by the Antigon forces and die to starvation. His remains were sent back to his family while the Macedonian family Aminted, ever loyal to the Antigon cause, would be instated as the new satraps of Cappadocia. One might think that the situation would have calmed down, but one would be sorely mistaken. Aminted rule is by no means secure. On the one hand, the son of the former Persian king Ariarthes II plans 
to retake his homeland and drive out the Hellens from the region. And on the other hand, the children of Eumenes of Cardia plot and scheme to avenge their father. The eldest son, Eumenes, hopes to retake control over Cappadocia and defeat the Antigonids in battle, thus restoring his family's honor. Cappadocia stands upon the edge of precipice. What path will she tread? What a troublesome time. Okay, so pretty much there's a big whole ha thing happening here in Cappadocia. Look at this mystery tree. Cappadocian destiny. Cappadocia has lived through a turbulent couple of decades and has now multiple paths upon for open up huh? Let's start this and just just look at this. So it starts all up here. You can of course continue to be, you know, friendly with the Antigonids. And that actually really helps your capital import routes. It gives you a lot. That's one way to go down. You can also bring back the descendants of Eumenes. That is actually one that I've done before. When I played Cappadocia by uh, just by myself for solo, it was actually one of the most fun campaigns I've had in all of Imperial Rome. And I don't know, I, th I guess I'll just show a picture of what I've done. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty insane. We can go native, which we can just become native Cappadocian and, you know, assimilate and convert. Or we can bring back the Ariarathid dynasty which is a Persian dynasty who was ruling here during the time of the Achaemenids. Which, this is the way we're going to go down because there's a lot. Also, there's a development side of the tree as well. So first, if we want to get this, we need to stabilize our position. We need to have professional training. We need at least five forts. And all owned provinces need to have a total of at least 282 non-slave pops that are at least 33% happy. We have more Cataonians than Cappadocians, actually. Light cavalry, light infantry, heavy cavalry, archers. Might actually have to make these guys citizens soon, but not right now. I don't know what we should be getting. Uh, we have green. We can actually get pressure melts for National Citizen Happiness, which is actually what we need. We'll go for Precious Metals then. We'll trade with the Sulukids. For now, they'll be all our trade allies. Yes, we need Professional Training, so we'll just rush down that. We'll drill, and then Professional Training. That's a good boost to our discipline, at least. We can call it on Omen. We are Hellenic and Macedonian. We have Amintas, the first Amintid, who is actually quite good. Omen power is abysmal because we have no religious unity because we're just, just all Cybelline. The people of our lands are firm believers in the mother goddess Cybele. So it, it really just doesn't matter what we pick here. It's not like it's going to have much of a, you know, factor. So we'll just pick that. We're an autocratic monarchy. Let's just get just the normal stuff here. I We're going to be building stuff, right? So one. I mean, yeah, we're going to be building stuff, so we're going to get to that, and... Um, I guess we'll go Orange and Myth. And that all culminates down to the new Achaemenids. We get the blood of the Achaemenids. We will get claims on the furthest extent of the Achaemenid Empire. That's... That's insane. <laughs> that is insane! <laughs> Where should forts be built? So the east side is protected with this fort. Yeah, just build a fort here. Why not? That's one other fort. I need another fort. Yeah, all these people are very upset with me because they're of the wrong religion. So it's going to be hard to actually get these people to be happy. Pretty much what I got to do. I have to make sure I don't trade my food away. Hold on. I have two precious metals. Oh, that's huge. It's nice. That's very good to get. Good, 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 good. Honey as well is very lucrative. Okay, we have some good, good resources. Right, so pretty much, how do we... What's the easiest way to get people to be happy. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I guess we just gotta... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. War in Greece. Yep, there, there's that whole debacle going down. The Sacred's Venture. If we are ever to become our own people, we will have to step out of the shadow of Antigone Kingdom. Rise our completion how we should try to improve our satrapy. We all agree that something needs to be done. After a lot of back and forth, we have worked out three potential paths forward. So this would be as strong as... As strong as the agri- Nope, not even a try. Our efforts on pacifying and growing our lands. We actually need to- Yes! That's actually- As long as this- I hope this leads to, like, happiness? Because that's kind of what I need. I want to focus on my people. I don't really care about anything else. I want to focus on making sure the people are happy. Ah. Baka. 
perfect. <laughs> that is a perfect place to put a fort. Holy shit, what's happening? Oh, what war told me. Oh, God. I hope they don't come too far. I don't... I hope they don't come over here and try to kill me. I hope. Just, dude, just give the land to the Seleucids, man. Just give land away to the Seleucids. I don't want to go to war with the Seleucids. Okay, it looks like we need to definitely focus our efforts on religious advances. Yeah, because this is all the happiness. I'm doing this even though I'm going to be switching religions again, but for the right now... Oh my god. You know, sometimes the Antigonids completely fold and just give away all their lands in the east. But other times, they just go all at war and don't give a damn. And of course, this is the one time where they just choose war. Oh, and then you give concessions to the Lysimachids. Like, why not to the Seleucids? Or Ptolemy? I, I'm just not gonna bring up my troops because there's just no point in fighting. <laughs> There's actually just no point in fighting because I'm- it's futile. I'm just gonna lose anyways. It's going to be lost anyway, so there's no point in trying. Oh, what the fuck is- how do you expect me to have that? What are you doing? I'm gonna do it because I really need people to be happy. I hope this actually leads to happiness. I guess another option we have is to just make these people since- I mean, we might as well, regardless of just our mission, we might as well, um, just accept these people because- it just adds more manpower, adds more levies. And just to an end. Uh, um, actually, that's not bad. For 240 months, 20 years, that's actually not bad. That's really cool. I, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm gonna have to lose land, honestly. That's gonna have to happen. I'm gonna have to lose Militene at least. I can't lose any more than that. But I guess I could bring up a lot of levies, to be honest. I could actually help. But is there a point in helping, though? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll help. I'll help. Whatever. Alright, let's just go around and just fight as much battles as we can, I guess. That's a tax, so I'm not fighting that. <laughs> I'm I am not fighting that. It's a lot of heavy cavalry, and I have a lot of light units. They also have a lot of heavy infantry, and I have a lot of light There's no point in fighting that. Just, no. Not gonna happen. I just don't know why I've done this. I don't know why I've- I don't know why I thought, like, I could- I could actually contribute. Because I can't. I seriously cannot contribute. I need Antigonus to die, because when he dies, I believe I go independent, because he loses all of Anatolia, pretty much. And then, I need to negotiate some kind of peace. Yeah, I can't fight that taxes. I'm not even gonna try. They have three elephants in there. I can fight this, surely. Surely I can fight this. Come on, now. I have more discipline. I have more units, overall. But yeah, I'm winning that. Okay, we won. That's something, I guess. Tignans are in low. Just peace out, man. Just fucking peace out. What the hell is going on here? Hmm, there they come from Melton. I'm gonna at least put Borderlands on, so it's harder for them to take the fort. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Uh, they've turned around. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, oh. Wait. <gasps> oh, win the battle, win the battle, and leave. I can't leave. Uh, fuck. Shit. Well, uh, yep. Yeah. And, okay. <clears throat> oh! Oh! They peace out with Tomi! Oh my god, what? I seriously did not expect them to peace out at all. What? Okay, that's huge, and they didn't take anything from me at least. Which is nice. So I can fully focus on the Sulu kids. <clears throat> Pella's under siege. Ah, the gulls are moving. Oh my god. Native 12% national noble happiness! I can't go into debt. Come on now. Okay, that guy's coming back. Let's just turn. Go, go, go away. Um. Oh, what the hell's going on? Why am I over here in goal? Sure, you're actually being led by Seleucos, but no way you win. Okay, just just go away then. That's fine. Cool. Oh, 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 what? I didn't lose anything. They peaced out. That's huge. That's so huge. Well, at the very least, we have to make less people happy because a lot of our pops just, just died. <laughs> Once we become independent, I hope at least to have Armenia as an ally if if I can't get the other two Daidoki. Galatia might actually be a pretty good ally as well. Um, I should also say, I'm also playing with a sub mod. Well, multiple sub mods. Um, but one in particular is the one, it's called like something Lime. Something about Limes. I don't know why it's 
called that, but Invictus Lines or something, I don't know. But it's pretty much a submod that makes it to where the AI follows more historical borders. It's pretty much a mod to just com combat um, border gore, and it's actually very good. It actually works very well, and it's very satisfying, honestly, how it works. So, um, yeah. Prince of Chaos. Oh, Mithridates is here. Ah, that's actually pretty scary, honestly. White Peace. Ah, he's dead. Let's go. We're not independent, though. Um, that's kind of suspect. Well, that's fine. Whatever. As long as we don't just don't go to war. I thought we would get independent. Pretty much you just need to make it less slaves. <gasps> we did it. Before we make any moves in the wider world, we must make sure that our position at home is stable. Our people are ready for the challenges ahead. 100 political influence, 300 gold, 5,000 manpower, and 5 stability. Huge. Let us prepare. Okay. We have options open for us, and of course, we're going to go down... The Ariarathid. <laughs> we will switch to play Ariarathes, Ariarathid, the son of the Achaemenid satrap before Alexander arrived. He will lead a rebellion against the regime. There was a time, not so long ago, where the Hellens and Macedonians were not in this country, and life flourished under the benevolent rule of the Achaemenids. There are many who wish to see a return to those days. Boom. Yep. Okay. We are. Considering how quiet Area Rathes II has been lately, no one expected that the self-proclaimed Oh Zayathia Zayathia Zayathianum of the <laughs> Nah bro, this is fucking crazy. Was secretly raising an army to attack Cappadocia. There was great consternation in Mazaka when Frantic messengers arrived bearing news of the war that Ariarathes had declared and calls went out immediately for the levies to be raised. An imperial challenge, that's a bit of an annoying war goal, but it's not much land to take anyway, so it's fine. It's a little too late. Victory shall be ours. Alright. Our war. And Armenia is helping us. Oh yeah, because we came from Armenia. Ariarathes was seeking exile in Armenia at this time. Blood of Pharnabasis. Pharnabasis II was a satrap of the Achaemenid Empire in Hellespontine Phrygia. Deftly navigating the politics of the Peloponnesian Wars and having both fought on both sides at one point or another. Prominence manpower recovery speed, which is okay, pretty good. And diplomatic reputation plus two, that's actually very huge. We have an infection though, unfortunately. Oh, we don't have any other families? Oh, it's just us. Okay. We are we allied? We are not allied to the Armenians. We should Probably ally the Armenians. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So this route, if I go down the left side, it's more focusing on Persia. The right side is more focusing on the Pontic Armenian region. Oh my god, what is that income? What is that income? Hello? Yes, let's go on a hunt while we're currently at war. That makes sense. Oh! It worked. What is- uh -huh. What is that income? Oh! Oh! <coughs> I see. What is Pontus doing? Oh, you fucking- What? Come on, now. Oh, Mithridates, you- Oh my god. Yeah, that's terrifying. That's simply terrifying. Hey, Seleucids. No, not Seleucids. No. Galatia. Galatia is my only hope, really. I don't really want to ally the Armenians. Because going down the per- Hello? What? What the fuck happened to the tree? Where'd the tree go? Oh. Oh! It just fixed itself. Okay, I see. That makes it a lot easier to see. So yeah, we're gonna go into Armenia regardless. So I think what I want to do, right, is ally the Galatians. Just to have against the Pontics, because the Pontics are scary. So I'm gonna do that right now. Yep. And I can call them into my war, and that's huge. I, I will do that. I'm at my least efficient when I'm hungry. So I gotta I gotta do something here, man. We have a lot of money. We have so much money. I not with this money, I'm gonna start building things. I have a what? Have greater or equal to three fortress buildings. Sure, bud. Okay, I'll do that. I'll get on that right now. 
Oh, you cannot be serious. That's also another sub mod. It's a bit buggy, but it's a sub mod that uh, fills in, you know, uncolonized lands with the nearest person, like the nearest uh, n country f uh, takes the land just automatically. And um, that I don't think that was supposed to happen there, considering it was still owned by someone. Which is very annoying. I would actually, I should, uh, oh, I should actually help against Pontus, but I, I don't think I can join the war anymore because the war's been going on for too long. But I should definitely get some claims. I'm going to get some claims on Pontix. Because it is paramount that we crush them before they get too strong. Because <laughs> if you don't know, historically, the Mithridatic Kingdom was very strong and very militaristic. Oh, looks like the Armenians are actually doing... Mmm, they have a legion! Oh, they have a legion! How long does this last? 466, that's huge. There's no breach. There we go. Ah, we've done it. Okay, cool. Oh wait, no, don't bring down your troops because we have more... Actually, bring down the levies. The levies can go for now. Alright, we have some families now. Gotta buy a Hira Mazda. Oh, yes, we definitely want the... Uh, culture happiness is pretty good. No, morale of armies for sure. Scorn families, yeah, I need to get some titles out now. Oh, it looks like the Armenians are doing fine against Mithridates. Okay, that's good. Let's get a head start on this um, tree here. We need the per Persian military tradition heartland. Oh, okay, that's fine. If you need a lot of nobles, you just need to get more tech. There's nothing really here telling me to build things. Oh, it is mutually exclusive. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I, I, it, you know what? The reason why I didn't think it was because it doesn't show, you know, because one would be, you know, crumbled if I, if I saw it. Yeah, anyways. Greater equal to three. Oh, can I do this now? Oh, I can do this now. Okay. Let's get our levies up. A huge amount of levies. I'm ready for war. We will do a Cappadocian kingdom. For their generous support against the Macedonian pretenders, the Armenians now demand payment, a tribute of sorts. Shall we bow to the demands of what of that wild mountain folk? This can lead to war with Armenia. We should repay, repay how? Do we actually have to give them tribute, like as in become a tributary, or do we become a client state? Because I'm okay with becoming a tributary at least. At least I'm protected by them, and also I can just end the the status whenever I want. But if I become a client state, then that's much harder to break. Nothing in life is truly free, so says an old adage, and it rings so true. To repay the Armenian support to reclaim my throne, we have to decide how to repay them. Do we send tribute, or do we support them, or even both? Our Armenian partners are definitely expecting to be compensated, so we need to think about what we are going to give them. Well, we can't give them gold. I can definitely not become a subject. I can give them political influence. They have our support for political endeavors, yeah. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Ariarathes II has some loose ends to tie up. And unfortunately, this includes the heirs of that dotard. What does that even mean? Eumenes of Cardia Eumenid, who have declared war upon Ariarathid Kingdom. The Eumenids, believing their moment has arrived, are gathering around Artonis Eumenid in a misguided attempt to overthrow us, but they have grievously miscalculated. I mean, it's a threat that we must deal with. Ask our overlord for help. What overlord? What are you talking about? I guess Armenia? Oh, wow. That's some nice morale and discipline. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, nothing happened. What are you talking about? There was supposed to be a civil war, but nothing happened. Really? Sure, but I guess we'll just get rid of the levies again. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I need to get great temples. I have a lot of stability. Let's get a Zoroastrian uh, person thing, deity guy, whatever. We can go to Royal Guard if you want. We have military service? Absolutely not, dude. I don't like the unintegrated culture habits. Oh, I didn't realize we were on military service. That would have been much simpler to get. 
the mission done, whatever. Um, I kind of want to just go mill uh, Rogo right now, but I kind of also just want to switch my omen right now, so... Unintegrated culture group happiness. Literally, I only rule over people who are of a different culture group. Because I'm Persian. So that's actually a really good one. I mean, I'll be getting rid of the national commerce, but overall, I think this is a better way to go. Harvatat. Everything in creation has its opposite. This has been decreed and ordained by the glorious Ahura Mazda and his infinite capacities. Whereas Vahista is the fire bearer, the feminine Amesha Spenta Harvatat controls the ebbing and flowing of water, harnessing its curative, curative powers to bless and protect her devotees from the physical ailments of this doomed world. Wait, why can't I choose this? Wait, did I have it all wrong? Why can't I choose this? Also, I don't need this anymore. What do we get to have? How much do I spend on you? I mean, that's a lot, actually. Mm, yeah, that is a lot. I can't afford you, then. It's probably a good idea. To oh my god, the army. Oh my god, the. Oh, full annex. They pin full annexed. <laughs> what? Oh, there were the Seleucids, bruv. I should go to war with Armenia. Like, I, I should go to war with Armenia, right? I should go to war with Armenia. Oh, yeah, it's fucking over for the Armenians. They're not beating the Seleucids. That's just not happening. It's like an insult of Nefatis. Why are you insulting me? I just killed him. I did not mean to kill him, but I did. I mean, despite the law hurting cultural happiness, it does give me a lot of levies. But I will definitely switch Royal Guard pretty soon. They're gonna declare this war now. Sorry, I mean, you did help me in my war against Cappadocia, but look. Alright. You know, you're in a weak spot. I have to take advantage of it. Look, we live in a world... It's survival of the fittest. You know, you gotta... You have to grow to survive, alright? And that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, the Galatians have so many units, man. I think I definitely want to eventually make them a tribute and hopefully a client state because they are very good Vassa to have. So Lucas is sieging that down, so there's not really much else I can go. So first, we want to take as much Armenian lands. Oh, Cappadocia, Pontica. How many? Oh, there's a lot of Cappadocians here, so we definitely want to take these. Take that. That's a good one. And then we can just have them release. Paphlagonia. That's perfect. Then some other smaller guys. Atropatine, I don't really care for that. Probably Seleucus are going to take all that anyways. Amisos, that's a good deal. I like that. And yeah, I guess that's that. Okay, that's the piece still. We could get more land, so I'm just going to go for more land. So we want to build some more stuff, right? Our research isn't good. We have a lot of pops. That's fully built. Uh, we can go for Mazaka next. Ooh, I know what I want to build. I want to build mines here and here to boost our economy. Honey is also pretty lucrative for, yeah, for sure. So we want to get a farming settlement here. Oh, siege honey. Okay, that's it. We don't really need... Oh, they peaced out. We don't need any more, though. We don't need any more. I don't want any more. So I'm going to switch to Bellicose. Okay... And we're going to take that. And that's pretty much what I want. Can't release any more things. Don't want you to become my subject. I, yeah, I can't. That's way too much aggressive expansion. So yeah, I'll take this. This is a good deal. And uh, yeah. All right. And we have grown up. We are a nice, big, thick country. We went to assign Aerorathid so we can stay strong. You're very good, okay. Let's your tradition. Good. Heartland. That's what we want. What was that for again? It was something down here. Yeah. Has an act the Royal Guard law. Oh, we do need that. We we do need Royal Guard or Royal Army. So, okay. That's fine. I should do that pretty soon. Actually, I could do that now, really. Yeah, I might as well go now. Oh, it needs three fucking training camps, bro. How? I have- I already have so many other things I need to build. Dude, I need to build so many things in my capital. This is crazy. You know, I'm gonna do it, actually. I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna go rule guard, and we're gonna make a lesion. Yeah. 
We don't have the money for it right now, I don't think so. We'll wait a little bit. I'll check our tradition to see what legion I should make. Heavy infantry, cost, heavy infantry, heavy infantry. Yep, heavy infantry. It seems like it's just heavy infantry. War elephants. Okay, for now, that will be it, because I just don't have enough manpower. Planning my demise. You're breaking our alliance. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> like, are you really sh positive you want to do that? I'm going to be honest. I don't think that's going to go very well for you. Oh, they didn't break the alliance anymore. Wait, what? They're not going to do it anymore. What? The AI is just so random at times. Um, someone just made claims on me. I don't. I didn't read that. I don't know. Okay. All right. We're going to build a fort there. I don't like that. Uh, Spearman, Spearman, we have Spearman. Let's get, do we, can we get, no, 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 Oh, yes, that works. No, fuck it, just bring it, I don't care, I'm ready, I'm so ready, I'm not ready at all, that was sarcasm. Oh, with these pops, I, I would feel like we would have a little bit more levies, but, uh, I guess not. For now, let us drill this army, we actually have a very good income. Oh, uh, yep, that's a hundred percent war coming. They have levies here. Unless they want to go to war with Galatia. Oh, no, they it's definitely it's definitely me. It, it's definitely me. It could really just be both of us. Um, I'm gonna get my levies up. I'm so ready for war. I know exactly what's coming. I I could go neutral and just get another alley in Iberia. But I fear that the Seleucids might want to go to war with them or something. They don't have any claims on them. Very could be helpful. I'm going to ally the Iberians. I'm going to go neutral. Honestly, I don't want this to deter the Ptolemaics because I do want to go to war with them. I want to spend money on my cities to get more citizens, but I can't right now because I'm saving for mercenaries because I think the Ptolemaics are going to declare war on me. Oh, there's a tax. Is 25 cohort taxes. There's 12 spearmen in there. Dude, I'm tired of waiting, man. I have so much shit to do. Hurry up. I actually have so many things that I need to do right now. Oh, they're not playing my demise anymore. <laughs> okay. You did all that for nothing now. Now they're all just going away. Oh, they're with the fucking Antigonids, though. Our research points are not moving up at all. We have so many slaves. Oh, my God. War? You immediately went to war with Armenia as soon as I allied you. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't want to be at war with Armenia. I don't... Oh, you... Oh. Galatians are planning my mice. I fucking love to see you try something. And it was, this was only meant to be temporary. I wasn't meant to be staying allied to the Paphagonians. This was only just to get them to become my vassal. Oh, there it is. Okay. Watch them ally. Watch them ally the uh, Tomeics. Watch them ally the Watch them do it. The same thing happened to me in my Umanid campaign. And I bet the same thing is going to happen here. I guess I'll take this. But I don't want it. I, I seriously do not want this. I guess they can open me up to some more... Uh, uh tribe tribe tributary, sure. Yeah, they definitely oh they're planning my mice. Yeah, fucking declare one of me. I hope I, I hope you do. The Galatians don't actually like the Ptolemaics. So they might not ally them. In which case, who the hell are you gonna ally? The Antigonids, probably. Which I'm not even scared of. I mean they're pretty strong. And they have a lot of allies. Actually, I'm quite scared of that. Or a lot of vassals, I just Oh! It just happened! Sick. <laughs> All right, sure, sure, sure. Iberia, what are you doing? Coaches, okay. This was not planned at all. This is not my plan. Make these guys a tributary. Make these guys a tributary. Pretty much everyone that borders me is a tributary. And the Galatians, I want to make them some kind of vassal, but I can't make them a client state because they're not, uh, they're not civilized. Oh, please. Oh. Oh, oh, you lost your ally there. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? Insults. 
Um, so one of them said it until it's each other. Oh, look at... Mm, oh, that's so unfortunate. You're all alone now. How terrible. How terrible. I kind of just want to ignore this war. Because it's pretty much over. I want to go to war with Galatia as soon as possible. I should do that. I should do that. I want to take out this army, though. Oh, my son. My air is so dead. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a lot of unit. All right. All right. So immediately that was an L. Good job. Good job, me. Holy shit, they have a lot of units. Okay. My air's gonna die. There's a W right there. Okay. We have a military tradition. Mass assaults. It's an ultimatum. The arrogant Seleucid think they can speak to us however they please. It remains up to s up to us to see if this is true or not. I don't know what that means. I'm honestly not going to do anything right now because I'm at war. Because I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's going to do. So I will just wait. They're splitting up again. Surely I don't lose that. Oh my god, that was actually so bad. But we're winning it. Okay. Uh, where are they going? They're going to go to the nearest fort. So they're just going to turn around. You just win by win numbers. I have a lot of man. Damn, they are so strong. Like, they would actually be such a good vassal to have. Yeah, I'm gonna need mercenaries. I need cheaper ones. I need cheaper mercenaries, though. Okay. We can definitely fort this guy. I, th I could have sworn there's a fort in this province. There's not a fort in that province either. Sick. No stack wipe there. Okay. We are winning a lot of battles. We just don't have the war goal, which is an issue. And the fucking. Wargo is a level 2 fort. Please, yes, they're stopping at their first fort. Yes. It's gonna be stack wipe. You, wait. That wasn't stack wipe. Alright, we're gonna bring these guys all the way back and then we're gonna fight them with the help of the mercenaries. Okay, the beginning of this did not go very well, but we clawed it back. There we go. Stack wipe. Yes. Prescribed cannon. Let's get some. We wanna convert people. That's what we're gonna do, so we'll get that. Okay, I think it's now about time we start sieging. We'll have the mercenaries go and siege with this levy, and then we'll have the royal army just stay back here, I guess. We shouldn't lose this. These are levies, and I'm in favorable terrain. It says we're not, but we're I'm fighting in the mountains. Oh my god! Well, that's cool. Wow. Awesome. I love to see that, don't you? Yeah, we win this. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! A battle next to an active volcano! That was so cool! <laughs> the volcano literally exploded right next to us. I just went into that. I just went into that. I just went into that. I didn't mean to go into that. I literally did not mean to go into that. I swear I did not mean to go into that. I didn't read that. Um, okay. I have an idea. Don't worry. We're gonna have to strong arm. Sorry, yeah. That's something we have to do there. Uh, it's probably in the Armenian War. Yeah, if I'm quitting the Armenian War. I don't know why this isn't already over. Why don't, I don't know why they're not ending this war. Because I honestly want to end this war. I don't really want to be in this war anymore. This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna end this war. Yeah, just I don't want to be in this war anymore. I'll become a major power, sure. There we go. We finally through the fort. Can't see any reason to go any further. I would like to make you at least a tribal vassal, maybe not tributary. Tribal vassal would give me a lot of manpower and it'll also make you more civilized, making making it quicker for you to become like an actual civilized nation. So then I can hopefully clients at you. Or maybe go tributary and then hope that you like me enough to where you ask me to become a client. Either way, I'm going to do this anyways. Um, they're not going to like me. They're probably going to break immediately, but I'm still going to do it. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to go to Bellicose. Alright, there's my piece. Finally at peace. And in the middle of all that, I've made all, pretty much everyone who's bordered me, except for these guys, who I should worry about next. 
all of these Pontic city-states, Paphlagonia and Galatia are now my vassals, all these are tributaries, and this is a... Uh, actually, they're all tributaries. So I make a huge amount of income from tributes. And I'm a lot stronger than them, so they should stay very loyal, except maybe Galatia. Also, I want to see this whole Seleucid Ultimatum thing. They're currently fighting Rebellion right now, which is winning. <laughs> um, okay. And they're about to have a civil war, which I could influence more. We're going to send this ultimatum. Seleucos Nikater Seleucid's messengers have delivered an ultimatum with an unusual brusqueness. I have no idea what that word is. And this lack of diplomatic decor shows that they truly do not care how we answer for they believe they will get their way in the end. I mean, at this point, I am quite a big nation. <laughs> quite a big country. 114 territories, 832 pops. I mean, they're, like, a lot larger than me, but... Sit peacefully and save the lives of the people. Become a satrapy. I get a lot of money. But then that would get rid of all my tributaries. You get access to the Greek Kingdom military traditions. No, refuse. We're not afraid of Seleucus. We're absolutely not afraid of him. Especially when the freaking Parthians show up. Where are you? What is taking you so long? It's 267 BC. Conquer at Ecbatana. Huh? What? What do you want to conquer? Hello? What the f... What are you talking about? I'm so lost. W what is that? So wait. They declare war on me, but the war goal is for something to take from them. I have pretty strong units and... Oh, but it's a... I have to take something, though. That's a lot of military experience. That's a lot of manpower. Fuck it, you know, we're going all in, I guess. Um, I have Iberia. Iberia's occupied right now, though. I could get another ally. I should get another ally. Or should I just go, like, domineering stance? To make sure my tributaries like me more. I might as well just ally the Antigonids right now. Just briefly. Really my only hope. And yeah, we'll go for this. We get a massive buff to our uh, military, though. Alright, let's fucking screw it. <laughs> We're doing this, I guess. Alright, so what is this war goal for? Media Magna. Oh, it's for this. It changed, right? Where is Media... No way that's the war goal! <laughs> Excuse me? Wait, it didn't call their vassals, though. Oh, that's huge. Oh, yeah, and it's technically defensive war. Wait. Yeah, so they declare war on me, but it's... So I take something? Yo, that's the most busted fucking thing I've ever seen. Okay. Kardakis, heavy infantry defense. Um... Uh, uh... We could probably get war elephants soon. Or another time. So, essentially, we have to completely destroy the Seleucid army and somehow steamroll all the way to here. I don't know how that, that's possible. Oh, is it because their capital is there? Why is their capital not in Seleucia? Uh, if I had known this is what the fucking thing would have done, then I wouldn't have done this. At least I would have waited. Uh, I don't I don't know if we're gonna get the war goal. We, I, I, this is bad. This is very bad. At the very least, I can try to get as much war score as possible from, like, battles and sieges, and then just try to, uh, just make them release some nations. This pretty much makes it to where I have to go as far as possible. Yeah, I saw that coming. Due to their heritage, they really hate being vassals, so I'm just gonna leave them, whatever. For some reason, they're still losing to the- Oh, yeah, that civil war's definitely coming. This is gonna help us. That's a level 3 fort, man. Civil War's coming, Civil- Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Indeed! That is huge! But I now can't get there, and... What if they the revolt takes it? What do I do then? Alright, we shouldn't expect too much Seleucid um, resistance, because they're <laughs> dealing with this massive <laughs> revolt. I don't know why their capital isn't here. That's so weird. Who is this, by the way? Theocritos Polyperchides. Fair enough. Check all of Mesopotamia from them, and then we'll go through Armenia. That's actually a very easy way to go, because there's, like, no forts around here. 
and they're already being sieged down. Uh, that's less than ideal. You see? Yeah, they don't have the Wurgle anymore. So... <laughs> um... What now? Parthian hordes, there it is. But they didn't form Parthia, though. It doesn't matter either way, they're coming. <laughs> the, the, the Iranians are coming. Or the... the... the Sakas? The... who? Yeah, the Sakas. Um... I, I don't- we can't get Ticking War Scroll now, so... <laughs> I don't know how this works, man! I guess we just take as much as possible- wait! That is Ticking, right? No, that we just won a battle. Another- oh, Earthquake this time. <laughs> Near the same place. This- this place is not a very good region to live. I guess we can continue going down. Oh, they're on low, and we have at least positive- at least over 10 War Scrolls, so we can technically take something. I need some things in Assyria. I need five territories in, As in Assyria and five in Armenia. So I need to at least try to get something like this, right? But I don't think I can do that with the little manpower or little uh, war score that I have. We'll just at least try to get as much war score as possible. Oh! Is that ticking war score? Hold on. That looked like it ticked up because I didn't see any battle happen. That looked like it ticked up. <gasps> Is that ticking? I don't know if it's ticking or not. Because I didn't see... I don't think a battle happened. Oh, I swear that's ticking from 12 battles. Oh my god, it is ticking! It's so ticking! Oh! What? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> We're actually getting ticking war score. I don't know how. I don't know how that works. I don't know why. But we're getting ticking war score. Yeah, I don't need to go down south. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> oh, this is huge. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I thought... We weren't gonna get much out of this, but we can can seem to get a little bit. I mean, this is a this is a fine piece, honestly. Border's gonna look kind of suspect, but ah, okay, I can do it now. Oh, it was just either or, right? I don't know, but we we can do it. We just need uh, three training caps. How's Rome doing? Oh, there it is. Uh, tribute seize. You know what? Luck. Whatever. <laughs> just whatever, man. Repop is costing us one political influence to convert with a minimum of co cost of 25 and a maximum of 250. We might need to actually chill out here because, like, we need <laughs> research. Simple as. We need more citizens. We have too many slaves, man. We should also chill because of our aggressive expansion. So I think we're going to have one of those mandatory tall breaks. So I'll see you then. Oh, actually, we'll do this first. A true Persian army. The Persians of old were known to use legions to create effect, to great effect. And since we are following in their footsteps, we must have a true Persian army of our own. Get a whole bunch of military experience, and we get Persian army. Legion maintenance costs negative 15%. <laughs> wow. And plus 50% starting experience. That's amazing. Once word has spread that we are reviving the battle tactics of yesteryear, we anticipate the full collapse of enemy morale. We can also do to Persia. Send word to our countrymen that our armies march for Persia. We need all of the manpower that we can get. I think I'm going to wait to do that because that just gives me a lot of manpower and it's just going to cap out. Um, so I don't need to do that right now. But yeah, um, I'll see you uh, after the pause break. Or tall break. What? All right, welcome back. Um, not really much has changed, actually. I still have terrible research, but uh, I'm just back in a very opportune uh, d d place. Ariarathes has just died, and now we are Kofinis the first Ariarthid, and we have ten marshal. Currently, the Ptolemaics are at war with the Antigonids for a legacy of Alexander War. <laughs> so it's a massive war that was going to last a long time. Because no one can get taking war score until they get uh, enough battles, like they win enough battles. So it's going to be a long war, and the Antigonids have lost a, or the Ptolemaics have lost a lot of land in Anatolia. It's a huge battle going on for Anatolia right now. So I'm just going to gather my troops and swoop in against the Ptolemaics and hopefully um, take some things, you know? Uh, politically, I'm no longer allied to the Iberians because they decided to declare war on the Albanians who were allied to the Persians, or Seleucids, not kind of Seleucids, whatever. And I have this because I was allied to the Antigonids, 
and then he, they went to war with Galatia, but they couldn't do anything against Galatia. They they couldn't, like, get there. So I just sieged down all of Galatia by myself, and they gave this all to me. I kind of just wanted to separate peace and uh, vassalize them, but they just gave this to me instead. So that's a bit of terrible border gore, but uh, what are you going to do about it? Currently, I'm also allied to the Galatians again, because I, I just really want their help against the Ptolemaics. That's really it. But that's pretty much that. We're going to get some mercenaries as well, because I feel like I'm definitely going to need some mercenaries. That's a level one leader. Le leather? Le leather? Level one general in that taxes. That's crazy. I have some insane generals. I have 11 marshal. It's a 10 marshal. That's my... That would be my, uh, my... My, my ruler and I have another 10 13 I can afford this one yep easily might be a little crib but you, you you know you got yeah you can never be too sure I'm gonna go for Catonia because that's an easy one to take I've become incapable sick regulations they should be good and let's go well, I can be a bit aggressive I think that's a good amount. I think a good amount of their troops, or maybe all of them, were here. So I think I should be okay to just really be quite aggressive in this push. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be aggressive. I'm gonna take these mercenaries and some levies. Bring them over here to the west. Have going in gratitude. Ooh, they want to be a become a client state. That is something I might actually accept. They really do like me. I'm really. I really don't need any more allies. Honestly, at this point, I, I can't really get any more allies. And then I could just feed this to them. All of, what is this? Bithynia and Paphlagonia. I could feed just all this to them, I guess. Sure. Paphlagonia is now a client, a client state. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, yeah. This is going to be a massive war, or a massive battle. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mercenaries need to get in there. Mercenaries need to get in there. One more day. Yes, mercenaries are in there. That's huge. That should be the battle. Oh, God, they have more. Oh, man. We have way more coming in, though. So much more. They have more. They have more. Okay, now that's it. That's it. We won this. Galatians are coming in, too. Okay, wow. Reinforcements. Won the day there. We lost 8,000. They lost 10,000. Taking the war goal now. Stack weapon, please. I don't I don't even know what just happened. I don't know what's happened. I think we stack wiped. I don't know. Oh my god, this war is so easy. I just forgot to talk. Um, So, pretty much, I've completely destroyed the Egyptians here. Like, they stood no chance. And I have just went on a rampage in the Levant, just sacking cities, making a whole bunch of money. And I've built a good amount of great temples with that money. Because I still need to convert a lot of my lands. Actually, most of it is pretty converted. But the cities aren't. So, yeah. Um, so, not really much to talk about. I've just been over here just sieging. Alright, that's what I want. Only 10 aggressive expansion. We've expanded into the Mediterranean. The Tomeks are still at war with the Antigonids for Legacy of Alexander, so, I mean, this might last a very long time. I've also got rid of another Cybelian deity on my Pantheon because that made it slower to convert people because of the mixed uh, uh, to Pantheon. I'm 32 years old and I have yet to have a child. I am on very poor health. Can we please have a child? Okay, so I've declared we're on these minor nations down here and gave gave all the land to the Paphagonians. And I've also since uh, client-sated the Byblos country here, the Phoenicians. Now I'm just going to go back to war with the Ptolemaics, and they are still at war with the Antigonids, so not sure what's going on there. I don't want to bring my levies up because my research is still bad. I just got this patronized scholar to increase my research points just a bit. But my god, it's still terrible. I'm just gonna get mercenaries instead. That's what we're gonna do. I don't really care about who their allies are. I've since upgraded my army here. It's got a little bit more cohorts. Gonna, I wanna add elephants eventually, but I, I can't get- Oh! <gasps> I am 42 years old and very poor health, and I finally have a child. <laughs> oh! 
you have no idea how much I've been sitting here worrying about if I'm gonna have a child or not. Oh. Oh, finally. We need to change our laws. We need to do Agnetic Cognetic immediately so she can become heir. Oh, finally. I finally have a child. <laughs> I had to divorce my last wife because she was about to die. Let's switch to Agnetic Cognetic. And now our child can actually inherit. Why did I do that? I should have just done familial marriage. Oh my god, why are there so many forts around here? What is the point of all of these forts? Alright, I'm now ready to make peace. Uh, yeah, that, again, I just went quiet. <laughs> just sieging things down. I don't really know if that's entertaining. But anyways, the war is over. It was very easy. There's a peace deal. All right, now let's go focus on the Seleucids, or the Persians, because they're about to have a very big civil war. Holy shit, 57%. All right, we're going to do two, two Persian now. Get these claims, get ready. We march east. Oh my god, there it is. Tribute income, more tribute income, that's nice. Subject opinion. Honestly, I might take that, actually. Because I have so many tributaries you don't even understand. Look at all of this. Look at all of my tributaries. I'm like a Chinese empire. Everyone I border must pay tribute to me. I'm gonna go for Mesopotamia. They have such low stability. I have to assume that because of their low population happiness, I have to assume they have like no manpower. Like very little manpower they're getting from their freemen. Big battles going on over here. Finally, they've arrived. Looks like the revolt is going to be crushed. Uh, I'm going to lose this battle. I'm, I know I'm going to lose this battle. I know I'm going to lose this battle. No way I win this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. The Romans are coming for Greece. Oh, no. You're going to fucking die. What the hell, man? How much money do you have? Like, you, you, you surely you actually don't have that much money, right? Oh my god, I'm winning that. What? Hmm. Anyone on low? Albania, do you want to leave, please? No. Why are you not on low? Because I probably haven't beaten your armies enough. 17,000? What the fuck is that? What are you doing, man? My god, they just keep coming. Stop. Albania is bringing so much. Five, five, one, nine. Dude, I need Albania gone. That's like my main priority here. What I could do is bring. Ah, I have an idea. I have an idea. I can get military access. Yep. Oh, that's awkward. We're gonna go through Iberia to Albania, and we're just gonna siege them down and hope that, you know, that gets their uh, enthusiasm down. Okay, we've made it to Albania. We're gonna siege down some stuff. Oops. We're gonna siege down some stuff, and hopefully this get. Can you stop selecting him? We still have a lot of manpower, so it's okay. Oh, what's going on down there, man? The big issue is the Albanians, because they're bringing in so much men. Probably try to just beeline it for their capital. They're on low. Let's go. Let's go. It fucking worked. It fucking worked. Do they have any more allies? No, they don't. The rest are just. Um, a little, little d subject, boys. Uh, this is a little bit of a frustrating war just because of the amount of troops that they have. We're gonna have you not release nations, but fucking cancel your goddamn subjects because you have too many units. Bactria is massive. How many? I have even, I don't even know where the Bactrians are. I don't remember seeing them. I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. There's so much of them. Adibene, please, at least, yes. Okay. What's well, that? That was annoying, but it's it's finally over. We're gonna keep these mercenaries because we're gonna continue on to Armenia. Um. Oh. Uh, uh. That's very bad. That is so bad. Currently at war with Iberia right now, trying to take some Armenian lands. Wow, my borders look kind of weird. <laughs> One thing I want to point out, right? We make 13 gold just from tributes. We have, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 subjects. 
almost every single realm that I border is either a tributary or a client state of mine. We have Anatolian tributaries, we have Cyprus, we have many different Israelite realms down here. We have Byblos, who's a client state. Paphagonia is a client state. We have Pontic city states. Some Aramaic kingdoms here. I didn't really expect to play like this with just so many tributaries, but that's just kind of how the game developed. I kind of just didn't really want to expand here, so I just made them tributaries. I didn't really want to expand much into Anatolia, so I made them tributaries. I didn't want to expand much into the into uh, Judea, so I made them tributaries. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it for this one. Of course, we can continue this, and I trust me. I trust me, and this time, I will be making a part two. Like, if you guys want a part two, I will make sure to immediately try to record as soon as possible, just before any updates. So we can we can continue on this. And maybe go for the new Achaemenids. It cannot be completed before Project Coding's entire realm. Anyways, we can still form Persia. Like, that is our long-term goal. We can still just form Persia. Which, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and whatnot. As well, I should have said this earlier in the video, but... Um, I guess I probably might just add it into the intro, maybe. But I guess just thank you guys for the support and whatnot, and the kind words to help me through these uh, very frustrating times. Um, you guys are my motivation. Simple, simple as. I guess that's only, the only way I could put it. You guys are my motivation, so thank you very much for sticking with me. But uh, anyways, it's been Altain SUG. Signing out. See ya.